loving the combination of plums and oranges together and then with just a little bit of clove added we decided to do this fabulous freezer jam yeah i'm really excited about this one i haven't tasted these mm -hmm. these flavors in a freezer jam before yeah well and freezer jam is kind of nice because it doesn't require a lot of equipment just a little bit of freezer space which mm -hmm. some people have more of than others but mm -hmm. yeah exactly we're going to start with one prep item and then we're going to set it aside so we're going to take our sugar and our pectin so this is two cups of sugar and five tablespoons of instant pectin. Right, and we're going to combine these together and just kind of give them a little mix and stir, which is kind of nice that our instant pectin is a little bit different color than our sugar, and so we can just kind of see it disperse nicely here. And then we're going to set this aside. One of the reasons you do this is if you put the instant pectin directly into a liquid, it's just gonna clump up. up. So if you mix it in with the sugar first, then you won't have that issue. Yeah. So this is nice and mixed. You can mm -hmm. see that here. We're just going to set that aside. Next, we need to prep our oranges. We do need to prep our oranges. So we just want, you need one large or two small oranges. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to want to cut those segments into tiny bits. As it cooks, it'll, it'll make it fall apart more. So you don't even have to worry about cutting the other direction, unless you want to. Now this freezer jam is interesting because you do actually cook it. There's a lot of them that you don't. Right, which you can find on our freezing playlist. Right. And now we're gonna take these two small oranges, or like she said, you could do one large one. Put them in there. Let me grab us a little towel for our hands. Sure. I don't like having stuff all over my hands. Mm -hmm. Great. There we yeah. go. And then we also have uh, zested one tablespoon of orange peel. We have five cups of plums. And those have been. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Those have been pitted and uh, diced. Additionally, I dumped the whole thing in that one. <laughs> that would have, would have had an abundance of ground right. cloves. <laughs> this one was not pre-measured. So. A half of a teaspoon of ground clove. And we need, what do we got, a half a cup here? Yeah, half a cup of water. Then we're going to stir this and put it on the stove. And what we want to do is we want to just cook it until the plum becomes very soft and that'll give the spices and the orange peel time to kind of marinate and get that flavor in. Mm -hmm. It smells lovely already. Our fruit has softened up really well for our freezer jam. It smells fabulous. It's got some fun colors in there with the clove. It's just a, a little bit brown, which leads you to think of kind of savory, but, you know, it's like super citrusy. It's really citrusy and, and sweet. Yeah. yeah. Especially when we get the sugar added next. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, that cooked down really nice. It did. It looks fabulous. And now we're ready for our sugar and that was two cups of sugar with the five tablespoons of pectin that was mixed together. Remember, it's the instant pectin. Now we're just going to stir it in extremely well, scrape it off the sides where it kind of got spilled on there a little. It's looking good. So yeah. you just continue to mix until it's completely mixed in. The whole purpose for cooking in this instance was to kind of marry those flavors together and soften those plums. You still want chunks of plums because it is a jam, but you want them to be soft. This is going to be actually very chunky for mm -hmm. your jam. If you wanted it to be a little less chunky, you could just cut the plums a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're nice and yeah. mixed in there. So we just have a couple of freezer safe containers here um, that we're going to dump this into. I'm going to actually hold it up and okay. let you pull it in. Will that work? That'll work for me. All right, so this jam pot is kind of nice because it has a little spout and a handle on the back. 
Um, we can put a little link in there so you can see what the other ones look like. Of course, it's not 100% necessary. Okay, that's good. Yeah. You want to make sure that you're leaving anywhere from a half inch. Actually, I'm going to pull a little bit now. Probably about a half inch of headspace so there's room for it to uh, expand. Because, of course, when it freezes, you have to worry about that. If I'd been watching closer, my... Um my goal is kind of right there where the rim is. It's mm -hmm. kind of what I like to do. I just wasn't watching close enough. Sure. And how it's talking. <laughs> okay, so we've got okay. these two nice and filled. And we do have a little bit extra. You think, think it'll fit in that? Once I, I think we're going to need a bigger one. So we'll grab a bigger container. And what we'll do with this other one is we'll just put it in the refrigerator and we'll use it right away. Okay, let's see. I'm going to grab a spatula. You'll be amazed just how much can stick to your pan. It seems like you've got plenty and then all of a sudden you've got like a fourth of a cup more. Yeah. So I always make sure I scrape it. Now that we've filled up our containers, we're going to allow it to rest on the counter for 30 minutes, which allows the pectin to set. Then we'll put it in the freezer, except for this one, we'll just put it in the refrigerator and we'll use it right away. When we're ready to use these ones, we just take them out of the freezer, allow them to thaw. You can either do that on the counter or in the refrigerator and any unused portion you have, you just put back in the refrigerator or the freezer if it's going to be for long term. Mm -hmm. If you're enjoying these videos that we're making for you, make sure that you click the subscribe button.